now let's get started more with the abstraction and encapsulation the next point is abstraction partitions the entity into many independent parts and hence it is easy to read the abstract of the entity means here is the user class which has member variable username and password and say for example some different operations so it is very easily readable that the user has the username and password it can register the user it can log in the user it will validate the user and it will save the user to the database so that is why the whole entity is partitioned so that it is very easily easily readable so this is what the point partitioning in abstraction means now next point is encapsulation it helps developer to organize the code better what it means abstraction actually organizes the design by di dividing the code into different partitions whereas in encapsulation it organizes the code better now let's try to understand the same scenario the class user has many different functions now within main i created the object of user class user and user dot save user to database this function is callable from the main which is not correct since the save user to the database needs to be called via register user only when the user is validated and then it needs to be saved to the database so this implementation of public for validate user and save user to database is incorrect that's where encapsulation second point is encapsulation solve the implementation level problems whereas abstraction solve the design level problem while the designing abstraction decided these are the requirements so it designed it so many number of methods and so many number of variables required but whereas in encapsulation it solves the implementation level problem this is improper implementation of the user class so you need to correct it how to correct it what i'll do is validate user will be private and save user to database will also be private because register user is ultimately going to call the validation for the user and save user to the database part so validate user and the save user to the database are the internal implementation of the class user need not to be exposed to the outside world that's why the proper implementation of these methods needs to be done and this can be done using the encapsulation concept and what we have done is we have restricted the validate user and save user to the database from the outside world using the private keyword so that is the point abstraction partitions the code and it solves the design level problem it identifies the number of partitions and it makes the design simple and easy to read whereas encapsulation developer to organize the code better so the code is organized as per the requirement as per the implementation part how the user class will be implemented in the near future is altogether taken care by the encapsulation so encapsulation take care of the implementation part whereas the abstraction take care of the designing part so whenever you are actually thinking of any class you need to first decide the number of implementations number of design methods required and number of variables required within it and then take care of those things which are not to be exposed to the outside world need to be private and those things need to be exposed to the outside world need to be public and some internal methods if available then obviously it need not to be exposed to the outside world because they are they are to perform some internal operations within this class so that is how we implement the abstraction and we understood the abstraction versus encapsulation thanks